let's take a look at personnel controls and leadership in public administration and chief executive leadership in particular. A second important set of tools that chief executives may use to influence their respective bureaucracies is personnel management. There's considerable varieties in the types of personnel systems, for example, patronage or merit systems. All of these systems deal with how we manage people in public organizations. Patronage emphasizes political party or policy loyalty as a basis for making personnel decisions, hiring, on-the-job evaluation, promotions, and transfers. The concept of merit, on the other hand, is the basis for a system under which the employee is hired and later evaluated on the basis of career-focused, job-related competence. The merit employee is presumed to place much more emphasis on career development and much less emphasis on loyalty to the individual leader. Limitations on presidential influence over political appointees and on the influence of presidents and appointees alike over the bureaucracy are complex and deserve examination. Political appointees, in turn, have had their own difficulties in directing the activities of their respective bureaucracy. It's so more than simply a case of bureaucrats being in government longer than most political appointees, though that's part of it. Reductions in force are systematic reductions or downsizing in the number of personnel positions allocated to a government agency or agencies. At the state and local levels, there are still some concerns similar to those at the national level and substantial differences as well. In many states, there are boards and commissions created by the legislature to which the governor cannot name members. The local level presents a mixed picture especially as local governments have become increasingly professionalized. More common is the local government in which a merit system represents the formal mechanism for personnel management. On the whole, however, the local chief executive is less influential in this respect today than in the past. 